Okay, if you click this video, I know you probably want to see the giant swim bait hook that impales my leg like a punji stick, but there's a couple things I want to talk about. First, if you have a weak stomach, just know this video is really nasty. Secondly, this is a fishing video, so there's a quite a few fish caught. The swim bait hook incident is a pretty small part of the video. It happens after the third fish is caught. And I didn't film it from the best angle, so don't hate me too much. But when you have a giant hook sticking out of your leg, you're not thinking about that too much. And lastly, if you guys enjoy this type of content, just real fishing, no fancy boat, no fancy equipment, just someone who's willing to do anything to catch a fish, including throwing a stick of dynamite in there if they're not biting, please like this video and sub to the channel because I got a lot of cool videos coming out soon. And without further ado, let's get into it. Oh. There you go. Got him in the net. A little log jam, Larry. There we go. It's got a decent large mouth. Oh, he's got a big bass with him. Okay. Oh, he's still there. Crap. Alright, I'm just gonna land it. I tried to get that other one, but that trick was tangled up. Okay, decent way to get the day going. Decent little largemouth. He had a really nice fish with him. There you go. Another pretty nice largemouth. Got him in the net. Not too big, but we got things rolling now. We got things rolling now. Decent largemouth, really beautiful fish though. And uh, just same thing, I, that's how I'm gonna catch probably every fish if I continue to catch them, is just floating down with the current, pitching the Sanko up next to the bank, skipping in under overhangs, and just letting the fall do it all work for me. Just the initial fall on the Sanko is the best way to get a bite. So you don't wanna let it sit forever. Get it in there, let it go down, let it sit, maybe give it a little twitch, a little shake, and then reel it in and get it out there again to a new spot. The initial fall on the Sanko or any wacky rig is key to getting bites. Another pretty solid fish. There we go. Number three. It's a long fish. I don't know, I'd say that's probably 18 inches. Skinny fish though. Man, that thing was up shallow. Super cool. Oh, okay. So I just got a S waiver through the calf. Not cool, not good. I think I'm, I was able to pop it through. I think I'm gonna be able to snip it and hopefully 
keep fishing. Ah. Uh, okay, guys. That is not good at all. That hurt really bad. Okay, I think we're okay though. Should be able to keep fishing. Okay, after the incident, I kind of explained what happened, but the audio is awful, so I'm gonna reshoot it. Basically, I like to hang baits on this little rod tube, and after I caught that fish, I went to the back of the boat to grab something. And I'm known to be a little bit of a maniac when I go fishing, so I'm like jumping all over the boat like a lizard. So after I grabbed whatever I needed, I jumped back up to the front, and as I did, this hook was sticking out, and it just absolutely gaffed me. And the hook was, this was really lucky, it was actually sticking out the other side somewhat. So I was able to just push the barb the rest of the way, and then from there is when I was like, okay, I should film this a little bit. So then I turned the camera on, and from there I was able to snip it, as you saw, and just thread the hook back out and continue fishing. So let's get into the rest of the fishing video. A little largemouth. Oh, they all have another one with them. It's unbelievable. Acrobat. How do you do, buddy? Oh, wow, this one looks awesome. It's a clean water fish. Another solid fish, though. Pretty small, honestly. I don't know why I said solid, but we'll take them. like a little spot yep come on up bud little fatty patty all right I mean I lost the fish oh just could have eaten this thing and the battery died so I didn't even get any of it on film yeah so tough Decent little bass. A little log jam, Larry. Ooh. Just gonna give up. It's a healthy fish. Not too big. But very healthy. Again, man, these fish are just beautiful in this river. Sweet. But that last fish was the same thing as most of these fish, just pitching it out, letting the Sanko do its job, put off that really subtle wobble, that little wiggle. And uh, yeah, they just, they can't resist that. 
makes a nice quiet entrance into the water so it's not very invasive okay so that's been a day of fishing with myself today was really a day of the good the bad the ugly we had some good moments we had some bad moments and we had some ugly moments but overall it's just awesome to have the boat back it's the first day out back on it since i got it back from the shop it's been a long time waiting on this thing so if you enjoyed the video i'd really appreciate a like and a sub and stay tuned because we got some more good videos coming out soon